the stories that he must now tell are those stories that will live on in infamy. It's laying the groundwork, laying the tracks for future projects. Professor Norman's teaching style has definitely taught me to think outside of the box. He has gotten me to look at drawing as more expressive. He sits you down and doesn't just take the minimum from you. My first ambition was to be a professional athlete. It was my ticket out of the ghetto. It was my ticket into college. After injuries and that type of thing, it became apparent that I wasn't going to be able to turn pro in either baseball or football. And so, okay, I have this other talent. Let me begin to apply myself in earnest to that. I finally met him one day when Joe, consistent with his energetic character, decided to come to Micah and literally walked into my office with a huge roll of paper underneath his arm and a huge bag in the other. And he came in and he said, hi, I'm Joe Norman. And I went, you're Joe Norman, the printmaker? And he said, yes. He says, and I came to show you my prints. Well, Joe immediately started to unroll these prints, which were not in a tube, which were not archivally preserved. And I was just, I was losing my mind. I said, what are you doing? I said, you're like a carpet bagger. You're just walking through the streets, just selling your prints to anyone. And he went, yeah. He said, I just thought I needed to come meet you. About a month after he got here, uh, he came and said he wanted to talk to me privately. And he said, uh, do you think I could teach another course? <laughs> I said, now? You mean that would be five courses? And of course, in academia, that has ramifications. <laughs> if you teach five courses, maybe they're going to ask all of us to. And out of that conversation came, let's go to Cuba. We took a number of students to um, La Havana and Camaway and Vinales and Hibacoa. We experienced the art of Wilfredo Lamb, um, Manuel Mendivi, and the experimental print shop in Havana. Joe had a way of keeping it about art and just about art. And he would bring in these wonderful Cuban artists that would do workshops in lithography and um, lots of drawing. And we would basically do um, like an on-the-spot improv teaching program. A lot of people can learn the facts and they can learn the events, but he knows the nuances. When he is uh, uh, making reference to the burning slave ship, for example, that J.M.W. Turner painted, uh, he uh, can tell you, you know, all about how outraged Turner was at what happened. And it's called the Zong Affair, Z-O-N-G. We are now uh, hoping to go to Gambia and uh, kind of look into uh, the history of the Middle Passage through that country. And so by collaborating with Tunde, I mean, he's brought to light my vision and his vision combined together that we were walking along the same path uh, musically and artistically, our philosophy about things that seemed to work so well. And so we're in pretty good sync in terms of where we're trying to go musically and artistically uh, and culturally. Yeah. It's the same things you're going to be addressing sure. with the beginning, yeah. mm -hmm. the, the middle passage, yeah. Yeah. The, and the, the conflict, the transition. Yeah, tra and yeah, it's an incredible transition. It's the story. There's so yeah. many stories of ours that have not been told, but the, the central story is this story of the experience that one has been through. Yeah. The diasporic story. With yeah. it, this is the diasporic story until that's addressed and really expressed in its fullness. One can't get to the next place. I want to tell a very simple story that a child can look at and understand what's going on and that to participate in this shame of this horror you don't have to be of African descent mm -hmm. yeah. it's about yeah. man's inhumanity to men mm -hmm. it's about temporary insanity again you know like when someone loses it a culture uh, an individual a power it's and they decide to if yes. you don't take the lessons similar, similar like the, the Jewish holocaust if you don't learn the lessons from it that's yes. the key then it can happen again yes. so the main thing is the lessons from something Absolutely. how did one get there and how to avoid getting there again and it has to be a cautionary tale 
that we must never go back to that. We must not be nation builders. One of the things that Joe does that helps, I think, so much is that he will take those horrible things and actually make them palatable. In other words, um, he makes beautiful pictures about ugly things. Art is a teacher and it teaches us so much about ourselves as well as about important things that we shouldn't forget. So when you couple an artist teacher with an art that teaches, it's truly an amazing thing. Joe Norman will take printmaking and the styles and the techniques that he has developed to create a new voice, a new narrative, a new means to tell a story, and hopefully pass this on to younger generations. Joe Norman could possibly be one of the greater muralists that we have in this country.